you have loved and you've been loved, but there is, you could say, a last frontier of love that you really came here for. It's so beautiful. And all you have to do is just come to your senses. With that, I want to finish this day with a mirab and let all of this soak in. I've distracted. Hopefully I've shared. Hopefully I've brought a focus into what's really going on in your lives. So let's bring this into all integration right now. Of course, I've said a lot of words, and none of them really matter. Not much. What matters is that you're here, that you're allowing. And all that hard work, all that harshness on yourself, let's take a deep breath and just let it go. What a life it is. What a life. Let's take a deep breath and just come to our senses right now, meaning let's really keep it simple. Let's keep it really simple. Let's come to our senses. You know, you know your senses right now. I've been talking about them forever. You're probably bored with that, but sense of sight and hearing and even thinking, those are all senses. These are the things that give you a perspective, a view of life, reality. But now, as, as you allow, the senses open up naturally. There are senses so beautiful, a sense of imagination. It's a way of perceiving reality. A sense of dreams. Dreams give you a sense right now for all of the integration work and all the stories. How all of your stories, your past and future lives, all the rest are actually coming into their realization all at the same time. As you allow all the characters in your great book of life, all of them are coming to their realization. Imagine this great book with thousands of stories, thousands of chapters. And the chapters, all these different stories, they, they continue on and on. They, they don't close out. And here you are, allowing. And it changes, it basically integrates all the stories. You could say you're the answer they've been looking for. You are the answer they've been looking for. And the thing for you to remember is simply to allow what comes natural, the I am. The best thing you could do for them, for yourself, is simply relax into your enlightenment. Simply relax into an easy life, a good life, an easy life. Simply relax into the 
beauty, the design of your own self. one relaxes, trusts, I guess you would say it is, in, into themselves, all the senses, the sensual parts, they open up. A sense of love is probably the biggest. You see, there's one story that's nearest and dearest to you, you in this lifetime. You've got all these other lifetimes, all these other stories, but on there you, you, you can feel them, you can sense them, they're swirling all around. But there is one story, one sense that really caused you to come back here. Love. Now let yourself feel that common bond with all of the other stories now. All the past and future lives. Weren't those love stories as well? Creating the sense of love, experiencing love. Going to the heights of love and the depths of love. It's no wonder that all of those stories, those past and even future lives, all of those facets of you, they share that common thing, love. But it was you this lifetime. said, I want true love now, deeper than any of my other facets or aspects have ever felt, and deeper than any of those other stories. Their stories continue to wind and spin and evolve, but you said, this is it, this lifetime for me, love. It wasn't about enlightenment. It was a good distraction. It wasn't about ascension. That's spiritual macchio. You entered into this life through the womb of your mother to come to the greatest and the most pure experience of love. fulfill the desire for love. That's it, right there. Loving a child is such a beautiful thing. Loving another human, man or woman, is sublime. But the next realization of love makes those pale in comparison. That's why you walked into this life. That's why you created Theos. 
to make it possible when there was that agonizing realization that love, the type you really seek, that love was not possible just on the old earth. It would take far too long, far too long for the two to integrate. And that's why the old earth and the new earth don't come together. That's why Theos becomes your safe space. That is also here right now. That's why Theos was created as the safest of the safe spaces. So you could allow that love. One of those things, it's the first and the last thing that you wanted to do in this lifetime. You're not going to find your way there through your mind by figuring it out, by trying to call it in. You simply allow. You simply, simply allow. Take a good deep breath, and I ask you simply to feel that safe space that you are creating. for which this next experience, the true act of love, can be played out. The safe space, the stage, the setting, and you. Please don't try to go too fast or too slow. You see, in allowing, it's not trying to control, it's not trying to say speed it up or slow it down, it's just allowing. And then this love comes to you. It's not going to be tall, dark, handsome man or beautiful woman. No, it's going to be different. It's not going to necessarily be somebody you share breakfast with in the morning and go to bed with and snuggle up with at night. No, that's love also, but this love is very different. Very, very different. Take a good deep breath, dear human, dear master, and simply allow. And then it comes to you. It's that simple. It's that easy. Take a good deep breath. <sighs> 